Welcome everyone to Limitless Potential Technologies. Today I've got a really exciting video for you. <clears throat> Why is it so exciting? Well, because we've got a Bendini motor back here that I've been working on for a little while and it is producing over unity. I am pretty much 100% certain of and in this video I'm going to give you a high level overview, show you what I've been up to and then the next couple videos I'm going to basically be proving that and showing you that we can get much more work coming off of this machine than what is going in. Um, so that'll just mean that there's an open system somewhere and excess energy is coming in. Um, I'm super excited for this, obviously, because I'm an electrical engineer. I went to school in Kelowna, British Columbia uh, at the University of British Columbia, and I'm looking forward to getting this machine um, up and running to the point where I'm confidently able to show it to the electrical engineering alumni and professors at the school and hopefully demonstrate it to a lot of uh, the new kids and students, not only in the university, but possibly uh, other schools around Kelowna. So first off, we need to make absolutely certain that this is producing excess energy. So right now, I'm just gonna, you can see, give it a little turn, it gets it going. It's all self-timed. I'll go into more details on that in other videos. I'm just gonna show you basically what's going on here. So, this coil here is what uh, is doing the powering of the wheel and actually vice versa. So these transistors here, there's seven of them and that's because there's seven power windings. So seven windings of the eight windings that are in that octopolar wound coil are the power windings going to these transistors and the eighth one is this trigger winding which goes to a main bar and also goes to the transistors but it triggers the flow of power from battery one. As the magnets go by, there is also collapsing magnetic fields um, in the coils, every time the magnet goes by, it collapses and it produces an impulse function. Those impulse function spikes are going into the secondary battery and recharging it. These other two batteries, I'm going to start charging up at the same time. And this large coil over here is a generator coil. I'm just letting it dry up. Um, some of the glue is still waiting to dry on the bottom, but basically I'm going to set up this gen coil here, have it generating an AC power and powering a load, some LED lights. Then we're going to be powering extra loads from the charge batteries and we're going to be recharging the main battery. Hopefully with this DC to DC converter, if not I'll have to get a different battery charger, but nevertheless, I've got a few different ideas on how to definitively prove that there is excess electricity coming from this apparatus. So that's a high level overview. I'm super excited to show you all this and uh, stay tuned for future videos because like I say, they're just going to get better and better and better as they should if you've got a working free energy device. <laughs> 